name is uh, Ruvarashia Winnet Miti and I'm a youth intern at uh, Southern African AIDS Trust, which has already changed its name to SRHR, which means Sexual Reproductive Health Rights Africa Trust. And there I volunteer with them and we work on various uh, issues pertaining to young people. We have a lot of organic, um, programs that we have uh, conducted. Uh, firstly, the launch. Uh, we had a launch of the Youth Hub, which was done uh, 16 August in 2016, and it had a reopening of the Youth Hub where we were celebrating the International Youth Day, as well as celebrate exchange programs with our, our youth from Switzerland. Our strategy as such is the girl plan also boys where we are talking about six pillars of the of keeping girls in safe schools so we are talking about menstrual health we're talking about gbv and in child marriages we are also talking about access to srh services we are also talking about comprehensive knowledge sexuality for the young people so that's our strategy as such the girl plan also boys So want to be a youth quake, it's actually our new hashtag that we're using as the hubsters because we call ourselves hubsters. So the youth quake is actually coming from another hashtag called SAT for youth because as young people, the youth quake, we want to be vibrant. We want to execute all the advocacy and activism on SRH to be audible, to be heard by people and to have a full engagement of young people. A good example of the opportunities that they can have is actually having the platform. The platform to actually execute their advocacy and activism as well as learning because the youth quake is all about leadership, having to your skills enhanced, getting to network and collaborate on a regional level because as such we are not only in Zimbabwe but we are also in South Africa, we are also in Malawi, Zambia, Tanzania as well as Botswana. As such, we are um endeavoring to build uh, a generation of young leaders who are very vocal in terms of uh, sexual reproductive health rights. We are saying there is a big gap that needs to be filled by young people. So we are saying when you uh, apply to become uh, part of this uh, initiative, uh, you become instrumental in your communities, in your organizations, uh, in terms of uh, the advocacy work as well as leadership. And we are also saying when you are trained to be part of this program, you also help uh, in terms of um, uh, uh, equipping other young people as well in your different communities. So we are saying this is a good opportunity for young people to actually utilize and maximize uh, to be the team leaders of tomorrow in their various communities and advocate especially for the girl plan uh, that you have heard from my uh, colleague. What we are doing pertaining to menstrual health here in Zimbabwe is that we've got a standardized sanitary pad that has been created by Chiesa. It's called the reusable pad, which is actually an alternative to the disposable pads. So as such, addressing the issue of menstrual health, we have the disposable, the reusable pad, which is uh, actually on the market right now and also accessible at the site offices and it's now being used in the continent of Africa. So the reusable pad actually lasts for five years and the cost uh, depends with the size because we have the teens, we have the medium, we have the super as well as the maternity. So it's only an increase with a dollar. So if it is in uh, the teen package, it comes with five uh, reusable pads and it costs four dollars. Meaning to say the medium will be five dollars, six dollars, seven, eight dollars. So that's the cost that we have. As part of our work as SAT, last year we were working on menstrual health because each and every year we commemorate the, the 28th of May, which is Menstrual Hygiene Day. So as SAT Zimbabwe and globally, we actually commemorate and remember uh, young girls in the rural areas. So what we do is we collaborate with uh, organizations that are already working uh, in distributing sanitary way, the likes of Yama Foundation, the likes of IM Foundation, the likes of um, uh, Happy Sky. We've been working with them and and once we go into the rural areas, they help us donate uh, certain um, uh, female products to them. This year, it's a bang. I'll say we have the vibes in terms of working with young people, giving them the platform to actually execute their advocacy as well as their activism in SRH on a regional level. So the activities that we have, which is like running right now, we have the 8th Sexual Reproductive Health Conference, which is being done in Senton, 
uh, South Africa and young people are there. So these are some of the uh, activities that we are having at the current moment. Like uh, you've heard from my colleague, we are actually uh, excited about this uh, program, the Youth Quake Leadership Program, which is a part of um, our regional youth hub um, operatives. So we are saying that um, because of this new initiative of the new generation leadership program, uh, we really want our young people to be actively involved in sexual reproductive health rights. There's been a big gap in terms of uh, the inclusion of young people in participating uh, in terms of uh, being vocal and uh, standing up for the rights uh, and responsibilities uh, of, of, of young people. But we are saying when it comes to advocacy, um, our pillars are there to actually empower young people uh, so that they bring in results in as far as um, advocacy initiatives are concerned. So this youth quake uh, program is there to actually bring about uh, influence among young people to actually develop uh, advocacy capacity. Okay, and how does one apply to be part of this project you're working on? Okay, to be part of this uh, project, it's open to every young person, but you have to first register to be a Youth Hub member. And for you to be a Youth Hub member, you have to visit our SAT regional page uh, on Facebook, which has in our, um, our link to apply to become a member. So after you have applied to become a member, you also uh, fill in your motivation letter and interests in terms of applying for this Youth Quake Leadership Program. Uh, and you also um, write, you also provide for us uh, a two-page CV uh, that details your work in SRH and um, uh, other key areas. We are working with young people from the ages of 10 to 25 years. a good opportunity for young people to actually utilize and maximize uh, to be the team leaders of tomorrow in their various communities and advocate especially for the girl plan uh, that you have heard from my uh, colleague. Um, our physical offices we are at um, number 13 Duthi in Beogravia that is Harare and uh, on our social media platforms we are uh, on Facebook that is SAT Regional and uh, also on um, Twitter we are uh, SRA HRA Africa Trust. So if you visit those uh, social media platforms, you definitely find us. And if you want to know about our hashtags, we have hashtag SAT for Youth, hashtag The Girl Plan, and hashtag SRA HRA Africa Trust. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.